Hey y'all, she was seven, I'm back. Okay, so <clears throat> I had a video request, but I don't know if I'm gonna do it because it's been done so many times. The answers are super obvious, so I don't really think that doing a video or covering a subject about you know this particular topic is going to be any help. All it's gonna do is start a bunch of trolling and arguing in the comments. So we already know why certain men of certain races act a certain way and other men and other races act a certain way, another way okay and we can't place all the blame on on this type of man because this type of woman as well has played a part in it so if i have to talk about the men i gotta talk about the woman so and i don't want to talk about these women because some of them um are my friends <laughs> some of these women have the same circumstance as my friends so you know if i if i'm going to talk about the black man as far as dating and marriage and stuff i can't talk about the black man without talking bad about the black woman so guess what i'm really not going to cover that subject because we already know our flaws we already know our faults we already know our stereotype i mean why even Put it out there it's already out there we already know it we already know why certain uh women and certain men have worse relationships and broken families we already know why okay so why, why would i discuss that now in general i will discuss it in general um but like i said the problem is everyone's fault in that situation you know um so I'm really not going to make a video on that. I'm not trying to bash a certain group of people. So, I mean, everyone knows their flaws are. They can work on them all day long if they want or they never will. But the, the topic is, is like been done so many times. Now, everyone knows that they can change themselves if they look in the mirror and decide to just do better y'all everybody knows that um now personally me i watched other people make mistakes over and over and over and over i've watched it i learned never make that mistake <laughs> never fall for the okie doke aim high don't end up like this person don't end up like that person and it worked for me because I'm a Pisces and Pisces like to be comfortable in life. That's just in our chart. That's in, it's in any Pisces wants to be comfortable in life. They don't want to have to struggle. They don't want to work super hard. They want the good life. So being a Pisces, I never took risks that would lead me to a place where I would not be comfortable. I never took risks that would um, leave me um, struggling because for me comfort is a necessity okay I need that especially for me so when I was growing up you know if I had a boyfriend or you know was dating someone seriously and we had intercourse I was protected all the time I took birth control I did all that because I didn't want any kids until I was married okay like until i was finished with school until i was married until i had degrees i didn't want any kids uh, because i knew but like i didn't want that struggle you know i didn't want to risk being a single mother you know i wanted to be married i wanted to have the family the structure the home the car um, you know, I wanted to have it the package. So I decided when I was like what, 17, like right after high school, you know, make the life you want, be the cause of the life you want, y'all. I'm not going to sit up here and bash people because they made bad decisions and they didn't think about the things in the future. I'm not going to sit up there and bash them because you know some people just need to learn from experience and some people can learn from watching other people make mistakes 
Now, I was one of those people that learned from watching people make mistakes. Although I've made my own mistakes, but the giant major mistakes I watch other people make, I haven't made them, okay? And I don't ever risk, I don't risk, you know, well maybe, maybe I can change him or maybe he'll do better once the baby comes. I don't even risk that child. Mm -mm. I'm like, you're going to be doing better already before you even get me pregnant. Okay, you're going to have a career. You're going to have an income. You're going to have stability. we got to have a house. I mean, all that stuff has to be in place, okay, because I didn't want my kid or my children growing up, you know, in an environment that would just not benefit them, okay? So I already had it up in my mind when I was 17. I, I'm not going to, you know, do all of that. I've seen too many people do it and the way they've ended up. And my mom was one of those people, y'all. You know, she got married. She got divorced and stuff like that. She was single mom for a while. Then she got remarried. And I watched her struggle. And I, I just did not want that for myself. You know, I watched my cousin. I watched a lot of people uh, go through this and struggle. And... I just can't do it. I could never do it. I would never want to do it. And, you know, props to those who do it every day. You know, I commend you because I couldn't even imagine, you know, going through that. I couldn't. Not saying that, you know, anyone, no one's better than the other person, but I know me and I know I couldn't do it. You know, I would probably be insane by now if I had to do all of that. Um, I really would. So, knowing myself, I made the correct decisions to have the type of life that I wanted. And I think a lot of people need to do the same thing, especially women. You know, there's no, uh, like, ladies, if, if you're, you know, if you haven't gotten into uh, any relationships, if you don't have no kids, if you don't have any of that, wait, don't get pregnant until you are married, okay? Do not get pregnant until you're married. Not in, not when not when you're in a relationship. No, you need papers. Okay, do not get pregnant until you get married, unless you already got money and you can take care of everything. If you're if you're not stable, don't have a kid. Okay, I think even Michael Jackson said, "If you can't feed your baby, then don't have a baby, and don't think, baby, you can't feed your baby." You'll be always trying, stop that child from crying, hustling, stealing, lying, my baby slowly dying, cause you want to be starting something, you got to be starting something, you know, I know, I just broke out into song, but, you know, Michael Jackson is my guru, what can I say, <laughs> so yeah. It just makes sense. You know, having a baby is not going to keep your man. In fact, it's probably going to make him leave if he's not married to you. Because there's no consequences of leaving. You know, especially if you're not going to file child support. If you do file child support and he doesn't have a job or he has a low-paying job, you're only probably going to get like $50, okay? So, y'all think about it. You know, y'all have to plan ahead. Women, men too. Like, men, if you are going to lay down with a woman and get her pregnant you better have a way to take care of the baby you know so if you don't then use protection god it's that easy they have condoms everywhere there's birth control you can get free birth control i don't understand anyway some women just think it's gonna help and it never does y'all it don't help i mean it might help sometimes every once in a while it might work but it's not gonna work for everybody you know I already, you know, I, I was like, no ring, no kids, you know, and then like after you get married, don't have kids right away, you know, wait a few years, you know, get comfortable and get to know your husband, get to know married life without kids and then go jump into having kids, you know, it's not that hard to do, you know, if you demand something, people will comply if they want to be in your life, you know. If someone, if, if a man doesn't want to marry you, then why are you with him? You know, if you've been with somebody for over a few years and they don't see themselves with you for the rest of their life, it's time to move on. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to read an email. Uh, 
anyway so yeah if some if some man is with you or you're living with some guy and it's been years and he hasn't married you or asked you to get married or still married to somebody else and blah 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 let me tell y'all if he dies or something happens to him you don't get any rights you don't get any of the money nothing you know you can't even get the social security so the papers are important y'all i'm like it it's so hard to keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over to people you know don't have children from any man who doesn't want to marry you i don't understand why people do that you know i would i wouldn't i would be like you know what until i have a ring on my finger this the condom does not come off darling okay we gonna be you know <laughs> until i have a ring and a marriage license the condom does not come off darling okay doesn't and that would if that will get you to get married <laughs> try that so you know what I, I'm not I'm not going to you have to have a condom until we're married I'm not you know just keep talking about it and eventually it's gonna get put in their subliminal mind and they're gonna start thinking about oh well she wants to get married and you know it'll be in their mind you know if you keep talking about it as you know as a woman they know that's what you want and that's what's gonna make you happy so you know, it's you have more of a chance of getting married if you talk about getting married all the time. You know? If you just afraid to lose him and don't want to pressure him and that you never have him. You don't have someone until you they're married. You know? Uh, I've seen it in the funeral business when I used to be a mortician. They'd have these common law relationships and the woman would get no say. The family or the mom or the sister would just come in and take everything over. And these people have probably been together for like 10 plus years. But she has no say. She gets none of the money. She's not the beneficiary on the insurance. It was his mom. So his mom got all the money. So she's left with nothing. Y'all, y'all need to get that paper. Okay? Don't have kids until you're married if you haven't already had the kids because you know a lot my sister my my i mean my my sister got married after she had a kid but shoot it was like a, you know it was harder so what i'm saying is if you want your life to go smooth you know keep your priorities in order Okay, and I'm not down at any of the women who have kids out of wedlock because I know a lot of people that do and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying life will be a lot easier for you uh, if you haven't already had kids. It's going to be a lot easier for you. And so I'm not really making this video about bashing certain races. But yes, it is true that a lot of other races do get married and have children in that order instead of the, the other order of having kids and never getting married. And just you know leaving yeah yes we already know that so there's no use of really discussing it we already know that and uh, that's why a lot of women want to explore you know interracial dating because a lot of women choose a man to be their husband on how good of a father they're gonna be you know they say you know I want my kid to be to you know to have a good father I want him to go to the park I want him to play play with him I want him to spend time with him I want him to be a role model and so a lot of women will date outside their race in order to have a good father for their children you know and that's very understandable because you can't you know you can't really risk having a bad father for your kids if that's your dream to have a good father you know um like let's see how much time where i live there's like fathers and children walking around every day you know and it's it's a beautiful thing to see and the family unit is intact and you know a lot of these people grow up to be successful because they have a solid foundation so i'm gonna leave this video at that and um like I said, it's not a bashing video. It's not meant to make anybody feel bad who have already, you know, had the children out of wedlock. It's not make, meant to make any guys feel bad for abandoning their children. It's just meant to educate those who still have these decisions to make. Okay? So, 
I hope no one takes this too personally and I would like to see what y'all think in the comments and I'll see y'all later. Okay.